I was thinking about uh, one of our favorite clients, Tasty Bite, and their products, and um, actually saw them at Jewel on sale. So for those of you in Chicago, uh, I saw them on sale recently and thought, or during this whole pandemic and stay at home orders in the different states, I know a lot of people decided right away they were going to do a whole bunch of things, get a lot of stuff done, and become chefs. Um, and thought that they were going to be like Bobby Flay or, you know, uh, Julia Child and suddenly realized after about three weeks of cooking that you either ran out of ideas or realized you really don't have culinary skills. Uh, so what I always do with Tasty Bite um, is actually make it into things that make it look like I know how to cook. Uh, a lot of people that'll be like, you know, that's fantastic. Even people that know what Tasty Bite is, after I put it together, they actually are more impressed than I expect them to be. So I um, thought about one that's a really simple one, which is stuffed peppers, that we're gonna do with Madras lentils. What's great about the Madras lentils is they come in these giant packages that you can get at Costco. And so you don't have to, you know, you can use them for a lot of different things because it's a tomato base, so you can turn it into an Italian thing, you can turn it into, again, these stuffed peppers, a Mexican thing, there's a lot of options there. Uh, but you can, again, like I said, you can also get them at Jewel, and at Jewel right now, I know they're on sale, it's possible at other stores too, but until the end of April, I know they're on sale. Um, so what I'm doing is taking just simple peppers that I've washed, um, you can obviously get them in the packages that you can get at Target or regular other grocery stores. Cutting those in half, very simply to do a stuffed pepper. Taking out the inside. And then making sure, again, nothing wrong with seeds, especially in this type of pepper, it doesn't make it hotter. Um, and then basically taking the ancient grains and the madras lentils and layering them in there with some cheese on top. So I will put these in the microwave just like you normally do, just to get them cooked a little bit ahead of time. So you follow the directions just like it says, which is uh, the 90 seconds. Um, actually, the madras lentils says 60 seconds. I believe the grains say 90. Either way, I'm just putting them in the microwave to get them a little bit warmed up so that it's much easier to do. Um, while also doing some cheese, which right now we're using Emmentaler cheese and we're gonna shred some. Uh, Emmentaler from Emmy Roth, also an excellent client, fantastic cheese. But you can even make it simpler and do a, um, and do a pre-shredded cheese. Uh, you can get pre-shredded cheeses, whether it's from, you know, uh, companies like, like Emmy Roth, but also uh, you can get those like in packages that, you know, for maybe it's the Parmesan, I know there's shredded Parmesan and things like that that you can get. Um, so doing something like that as well, so we have cheese to cover the top. And we will heat these up. So then I have now cooked the Madras lentils for the 60 seconds, um, the ancient grains as well uh, for 90 seconds in the microwave so that then they're actually kind of pre-cooking the um, bottom of the pepper so you don't actually have to then cook the peppers for quite as long. So then we're going to put in some ancient grains first. Um, I'm going to actually put this because we're going to cook ours very simply on a, um, in a, um, how's it called? Toaster. <laughs> Thank you, toaster oven. <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna cook it in a toaster oven. Um, so then it'll be really simple, but you could cook this in a regular oven as well on 350 uh, for about 10 minutes just to make the, if you like your uh, peppers a little softer. But if you're okay with the crunch, which I like, then you will keep them, um, you will just uh, cook them with a broil, broil in the toaster oven. So I'm taking that and then I'm gonna pour some of the madras lentils on top, up to the top of the peppers. And then Mark's gonna take some cheese and sprinkle that on top. You just want to cover the top of it too. You don't have to do overload. Just enough to have a nice cheesy layer. 
So you really don't need to cut up that much cheese. I mean, obviously you can cut up as much cheese as you'd like, but just for this, just a nice top layer so it'll melt evenly over it. You can also make, you know, a larger pan of these and put them in a regular oven for maybe 350 or just do them broil. I like them a little bit crunchy still, as I said. So when I put them in, I actually just put them uh, to broil. Sometimes I'll start off on the bake uh, for a little bit of time, uh, maybe for five minutes, and then I put them on the broil uh, for maybe another five minutes after that. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. All right, so again, after about five to 10 minutes at the most, I just put it on broil because I like mine a little crispy. I turn that off. Go ahead and take them out and you'll see the tops are crispy now so the cheese has gotten really crispy and tasty. Uh, we are then going to just take those off and serve them and as I said you could do an entire container of these. Usually it's two, um, it's a container of rice or it's a package of rice and a package of uh, madras lentils for every um, two peppers. So this is two full peppers, it's uh, two of each. And this is a good solid meal. I've allowed a lot of people tell me that it's really meaty, um, even though obviously it has no meat in it. Not to say you couldn't add some ground beef or something to it, but um, I've had a lot of people that don't eat meat. Uh, I don't eat meat that, you know, that have been afraid that it has meat in it. I've also had some people that eat meat that have asked me how I'm eating it because it seems so meaty. So it is a really solid, great meal to have uh, and something that you can impress people by so it actually does look like you can cook. Um, so either way, uh, Tasty Bite, tastybite.com. Uh, the cheese again was from Emmy Roth, it's Emmentaler. So that's emmyroth.com. And uh, we'll probably do some other ones with Tasty Bite since as I said, it's on sale right now. So we're gonna take some other ones this week and try to make some other things as well. Uh, maybe even a little bit fancier than just stuffed peppers, but this is a really simple, very quick thing to make. So thanks for joining us and uh, check out the next video about Tasty Bite.